With everybody worried about what's happening in the world, I wonder if anybody has actually stopped to consider what may be actually happening in their own life, in their own house, in their own backyard, in their own fucked up concept of what's right and what's wrong. For example, the hoarders, the greedy bastards that went out and cleared all the toilet paper and water and everything else because they think their lives mattered so much more than everybody else's. They're right. From their, from their view, they're right. They're doing what they think should be done to sustain themselves. Worthless, greedy bastards. It's all right. The media is terrifying every single one of you that are listening to it and watching it. CBS in particular, lying, manipulating, getting you to fear something that you should not be fearing, the purge of the globalists of this world. <laughs> but that's okay. Because you needed to get your toilet paper. Isn't it amazing how everybody is a side chair quarterback and knows exactly what should be done and the way it should be done for the best of all humanity while sitting behind a screen in some computer room somewhere, maybe in the basement, maybe on the top floor. But because you are a side chair quarterback and you stayed in the Holiday Inn before all this uh, stuff started to break out, you're that fucking smart that you think uh, you know the way, the absolute way. But when asked about the way, you don't have an answer. All you have is hate. Hate and disregard and disrespect and for not just the president, not just for the citizens of this country, not just for the citizens of the world, but for yourself, because only the unloved and unnatural hate. And if you're one of those little voices that keep trying to throw up something every once in a while, just to try to be involved in the conversation, the fuck are you doing? How are you being productive and helping humanity out? By throwing out these little things to see if somebody will pay you attention. Fuck you. Fuck your attention. And fuck your garbage. The news, including Fox News, is garbage. We have the ability to look at things separately. From what's being told, we can do our own investigations. We have the fucking internet. The world is at our fingertips. All you got to do is make an effort and look. Of course, there's a lot of disinformation out there. Of course, Dim disinformation is necessary, so they say. Well, I guess from the mainstream media's point of view, disinformation is absolutely necessary because that's the way they make money disinformation, scaring the fuck out of you. That's the way they make their money. I'm not telling you how to live your life. Don't tell me how to live mine. If I valued your opinion, I'll let you know. Otherwise, stay the hell out of my business. We're being played by the media, scare and hype, to get us to fear and believe something that is bigger than what it actually is. Just like movies, just like copying pictures out of movies and putting it up as real news. Thank you, CBS for showing your true colors, you lying sack of shit. Thank you, 
CNN, Rachel, for showing your true colors. If you're not for this country and this country's people, why are you here? To cause hate and discontent, to sow division and distrust, to try to rip the very fabric of the people apart? To burn our flag? To destroy the president? Whichever president, whichever president is in the presidential office at the time, if they are not a globalist player, the media attacks. The media will continue to attack until either one, they become a globalist player, or two, they get through their term or quit or die from all the goddamn stress. Meanwhile, 327 million armchair quarterbacks know exactly what's wrong, exactly. You have the power to choose. If you fail to use this power to choose, then you have chosen. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. If you want to change your life, change your attitude. Don't be a greedy little bastard. Don't be a fear monger. Sit back and watch the show. Because in the next 30 days, as I told you yesterday, some shit's going to get real. And as the president just said today, it's going to be a hard, hard time this next two weeks. It's going to be bad. We're going to lose 100,000 Americans to a quarter of a million Americans will not be here in three or four weeks' time because of this coronavirus. But y'all, just continue in your little self-serving worlds. It's okay. Continue being greedy. Continue having hate. Continue to sow distrust and division throughout the world. We're still watching you, the ones who think for themselves, thinks critically, that is, who can see and do a quick scene survey of the situation and say, yeah, something's not right. Something is not right. And anybody who tells you that everything is normal, everything is exactly the way it should be, may be a little lunatic in the head. Because... Even a child could look at this and say, that doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. But, those of you who wish to continue to sleep, and wish to continue feeling like you're all that in a bag of chips, the center of the universe truly revolves around you. I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have one hell of an eye-opening experience this month. I just ask that everybody stay grounded in what's important. Love of self, love of family, love of community. Take care of each other. I have, obviously I'm not going to go walk up on somebody's door, but as I'm out walking my dog, I come across people who are outside trying to get a little sh sun. Because you know, sitting inside the house all day just really ain't all that fun. Ask me. I've done it for six and a half years. But that's okay. They're out there. And I ask them, hey, are you guys doing okay? Yes, we're doing fine. That's actually what everybody has told me that I've asked. Not one single person has said anything about needing anything. Not toilet paper, not water, not food, not, not anything. But everybody still has their cell phones still plugged in. 
So we've made a step in the right direction to get grounded in our home life. But unfortunately, that's only an opportunity. An opportunity for people who can think for themselves to actually get back to what's important to them, to get grounded. And they'll be able to handle what's going to be happening. What has already started happening. What it is, is up for you to decide, not for me to tell you. You look at the re information. You look at it. You know, I have a lot of thoughts that run through my head very rapidly. Some of them I want to talk about, some of them I don't. And, uh, you know, in the back of my head, I'm always thinking, well, how is this going to come across? Is this really something that I want to try to explain? Added to that is, will your clarity of thought be there long enough for you to get through this? Love each other, period. Love your family. Love yourself. Love will find a way. Amy Grant sung that. So, until then, or until my next version of this video, seeing as how I have not been happy with any version thus far, comes across and actually gets posted. Y'all, take care of yourselves. Relax. Don't stress out. We'll make it through this. Peace.